Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, March 20th, 2020, and it's a really special day on our calendar. When you get a chance at your house, go ahead and go to your calendar and um, look to see what uh, is written under there. You'll find that it says the first day of spring. So yay! We're moving on from winter. We're moving on to spring. And with spring comes a lot more sunshine during the day. Um, and it also is going to signal to the plants that it's time for them to wake up. You see, the trees, even though they look really, really dead right now, they're just sticks sticking out of the ground. They're very bare. Um, they're in a in a place called dormancy. Can you say that? Dormancy. And dormancy means that they're kind of asleep, sort of like animals that are hibernating. We learned about uh, hibernation a few months ago. And when the sun, there's more sun during the day, it signals to the plants it's time to wake up and they're going to start to grow. So today, in honor of the first day of spring, my daughter Eden and I are going to be teaching about the parts of a plant. So without further ado, let's take a look at our picture that's on the screen with us today. Here are the parts of a plant, and there's some words for you to see. First of all, what kind of plant do we see growing in this picture? This is usually something that we talk about more in the fall. A pumpkin. You're right, Hayden. It's a pumpkin. And the pumpkin is being um, used to show us the different parts of the plant. We have the leaf. That's the green flat part over here. That's the cat. That's the kitchen of the plant. That's where the plant makes its own food, is in the leaf, using a chemical called chlorophyll, which you'll learn about when you're a little bit older. There's also the flower of the plant. We'll be talking more about the flower. The stem, that's where it's going into the pumpkin right here. And the stem is connected to more stems called the vine. There's a picture of roots, and that's the part of the plant that goes down under the ground, and it's like a straw, and it sucks up all the vitamins and minerals and nutrients that a plant needs to grow. And then there's a picture of the seeds, and the seeds, where would we find the seeds in a pumpkin? Inside You're right, inside the pumpkin. If you've ever cut open a pumpkin during Halloween time to make a jack-o'-lantern, then you've been able to scoop out those seeds. And those seeds are used, they're kind of like baby plants. They're used then to go back into the ground and then they'll sprout and they'll form new pumpkin plants. The pumpkin itself is called a fruit. And a fruit is any type of plant that has the seeds on the inside, or sometimes they're on the outside too, but mostly the seeds are on the inside. So let's learn a little bit more about the parts of plants. Okay. At the bottom here, there's some black words that we can read together. It says, plants are made up of parts. There are many kinds of leaves and flowers. Each plant has its own special shape of leaf and its own special flower. Here's an example of an ivy leaf. They're kind of pointed. And this one, this one looks like uh, more of a tropical leaf. It's large and broad and flat. This one's a little bit more on the small side. It's up there on the screen. See the broad leaf? Then we have some little yellow flowers and large red flowers. That's a red rose. At home, if you would like to, you could draw a picture of a leaf and a picture of a flower. So I'm going to stop here for you to take some time to draw some leaves and flowers, and I'll be back with you in a few minutes. 